Where are we? Someone put us in the stream. That's all. <laughs> just before we get going. Morning, everybody. How are you? We've just been over on Instagram chatting about Vlogmas, and I just wanted to say I was reading. Oh, hang on. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I do love that. I'd forgotten about that. So yeah, I was talking over it. Um, morning, everybody. We were just over on Instagram having a chat about Vlogmas. And you know what, guys? Mark and I often at the end of the day have a read through all your comments and they give us life. Yeah. We just love them. Absolutely love them. So thank you for being part of our Christmas. Yeah. Because really, probably if it wasn't for Vlogmas, we probably wouldn't have even started properly thinking about Christmas yet. So we get a longer Christmas because it's festive of you guys. And we, we, you know, whatever we're doing, we're thinking about how you how you lot will love it on Vlogmas. So, so we just wanted to say thank you. You are extending our Christmas. You're and, extending our family. And if you've never seen Vlogmas, and this is your first time here, it's our daily family reality show. It goes out at 6.30 every night. I'm loving that you're hitting that time every day. It's so good. Well, I didn't last night. So good. That's Lee's fault. Yeah, but that's because Lee was yeah. here making us cocktails, which will be going into a Vlogmas very soon. It was huge fun. Oh, my God. It was such good fun. <clears throat> I was in a very, very, very dark place yesterday. And he was. Lee literally if you're here tugged me yeah out of that yeah darkness. he was very low he was having a bipolar low yesterday and lee lee lee's lee, lee's medication he really oh, is can i just quickly say for private reasons I had to take a member of the family to the doctors yesterday and you were kind of quite flabbergasted by what the doctor said to me yeah the doctor said the doctor said oh i'll give you some penicillin actually no, no, we can't. No, no, she said, I would give you some penicillin because yeah. the pharmacies would have us think we have penicillin, but we have no penicillin. penicillin. Can you believe that? Yeah. And we've got government officials one after another coming out telling us there's plenty. Um, but yeah, so just just to check out Vlogmas if you haven't yet. It goes out 6.30 every day and it's a whole heap of fun. And what's really nice is there's no news. There's nothing about the world. It's just a chaotic family. Yeah. Desperately trying each day to be better than the day before and failing miserably. Apart from me, who's fucking irritating throughout it. Um, we had an actual argument the other day. It was funny. I mean, an actual proper full-blown, you know, knives drop no, it wasn't really. No. Um, okay, so Both. what we do on a Saturday is we do the news, don't we? We do the news headlines. We, we have the music again. Yeah. So, who's going first? Um, I just want to get. Are the these in order? Kind of. Yes, in terms of what they're going to come. I just want to get the really sort of boring ones. What we do is we start with boring, and we become more and more sort of ridiculous and stupid, or kind of curious. Um, so we start with something like the front page of the Times. Uh, this is a pre-warning that next week. That right. We've got the specific days of the strike. I know this is your love fest, love in with Mick Lynch, but. Um, the problem with the with the railway strike is it's not. Does anyone remember when the rail strike was cancelled and yet there were still no trains? Yeah. This isn't about just the days of strikes, but it's all the days in between. Yeah. And when they top them up, you're looking at disruption every day for a month due to not a lot, alongside the strikes an overtime ban. Um, so. Network Rail have said that services will be limited, overcrowded, or cancelled until at least January the 8th. Now, there has to come a point where one's sympathy does get hoovered up because, once again, it's just members of the public that get hit by this. And, and also, I'm really, I mean, I sympathise and I that, support guys? strikes and I support our right to strike and all of that. But also the thing I'm really worrying about at the moment, I was just having a bit of a look around this morning for Christmas presents and I tried to buy a lot from small businesses and they poor things they're yeah, saying. They're, just, yeah. they're saying, unless That's you order point, today, actually. we've got, yeah. we can't guarantee. Hi, we welcome, can't guarantee it will be there for Christmas. Devastating. I mean, you know, my sister has a tiny business, tiny small business, yeah. her art by box. And, you know, it's, it's, so I see it firsthand as well. Um, but of course, there's tens of thousands of those small businesses. Amazon and these places will use different methods, but 
it really is squeezing. It's really worth checking if you're ordering stuff. If it says 48-hour Royal Mail, you ain't going to get it. And uh, yeah. I mean, sorry, that's another strike. But the railway strike has an impact on that too. Uh, this is the story around mail. The sort of Christmas cards won't arrive until February. Yeah, don't send Christmas cards. There's really no point. I think the deadline on most things is, I think as you say, Nadia, I think it's like this weekend or December the 12th, I think, is not a guarantee, but you stand a chance. Uh, which is why our last cards are going out then. But look look at this shot of uh, post left piled up outside in winter walkouts backlog. Look at that. Just crate after crate. And, wow. you know, so once again, I mean, this is verging on a general strike. Once again, I have sympathy with everyone striking. I, yeah. I can see their cause. but I just, People are being treated appallingly. Yeah, People yeah. are feeling left, left feeling worthless. Yeah. You know, the government and, and bosses aren't listening to people. Yeah. Um, you know, there's some scary headlines today from, you know, saying they really do think the A&E, that the NHS could collapse this winter. Yeah. You know, so everywhere you look, it's really tough, really tough. So it's all over the papers, yeah. obviously, the, um, the, the strikes and what have you. Um, and just given that it, because you've got fear story, I just want to do this. Um, your history says uh, says the uh, Daily Star, Charles may axe Harry and Meghan from the coronation as Mr and Mrs Shy pile on the poison. Uh, this is the story that, you know, essentially the documentary series, if you saw it this week, um, in which uh, Meghan and Harry, I mean, in a sense, like there was a review I read, they didn't really tell us anything new so far, did they? I mean, no. That was the response you had whilst watching. No, I mean, they're just so desperate For to find... Nasty. Oh, the papers are. Yeah, I mean, did was there anything new? I don't think there was. Oh, I don't think there was anything new at all. No. I don't think there was. I mean, anything it was the curtsy. A lot's been made out of the curtsy. Yeah, and you've got a story on that, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, this is the mail, just desperate again. It was the pantomime curtsy that really sent Britain over the edge. Well, I'm British. It didn't send me over the edge. <laughs> I thought it was it was quite interesting. It was a piss take. It was, um, but they Harry's face was an absolute picture. So I think you got a bit of a sense of how Harry's like. You can don't diss my nan, wasn't it? YouTube but, says the curtsy was Meghan Markle taking the Mickey yeah, out of herself. herself. Exactly. But the mail would have you think that we're all ready to have them, you know, hung, drawn, and quartered over this, and just some just. Just some of these. This is particularly. I took a photograph. This of that. is just but, ridiculous. I mean, she will have had no the say Duchess in whether of those Sussex people. is all smiles when members of the public curtsy to her with these photographs. I just think it's just so unsavoury. It's just calm down. What have people got in their lives, says Pink Lady, if it sends them over the edge? edge. It sent the mail over the edge because the mail was, you know, many of those appalling headlines were from the mail. That well, was and the, and the, the mail went nuts about Brexit too. Exotic DNA and all I that I mean, my, my line on this is I, I wonder whether, you know, we all wonder about what it's like to meet the Queen. I think we've all at some point thought, God, how would we cope with if we if we met the Queen? And in a weird way, Meghan Markle has given us an insight into what it's actually like. Whether you Look believe at this she one. knew she was seeing her or not. Look at this one. I don't know which is worse. Meghan <clears throat> mocking the late Queen or Harry allowing Meghan to do so before his own eyes. <laughs> before his own eyes. <laughs> so if he closed them, it would have been all right. Ridiculous. Okay. Um, don't don't put this story up yet because I want to ask them this question. Okay. So cast must hits. You love a title, don't you? Oh, oh. Carist 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 hits. So these are hits in the car. So what <laughs> do you think? The number one. Hit is that people put on in the festive period in their car. What do you think? What do you think is the number one, guys? What don't is forget, the we've got the, uh, we've got the quiz at the end of this, so uh, don't forget. I can give you a little clue. 1988 is when this song came out. And it's been the number one for... Jogging Jelly says driving home for Christmas. Yes, Jogging Jelly, that is right. Do you know... It, he's, oh, Ashley. he's Oh, it's Ashley's been... got it as well. 30 years. Wow. It's been the number one. I love his voice in that song. Yeah, no. Driving home. Anyone guess Christmas. what number two is? Number two. I don't uh, even know what this is. Oh, Can you I, sing it? What, number two? Yeah. 
in the top 10 oh, hits. I can't sing it, but he's in hospital. There's a clue. The lead singer is in hospital. Um, yeah, I like it. I can't sing it. I don't know what it is. I probably only know it when somebody <laughs> can, sings can it. Can you sing it for us? Go on, sing it, Mark. I, I can't. Just try. I, I can't. But you know literally. what it is. I've got no grab Mark, on it. Mark, try. Fair, I can't. I literally <laughs> can't. All I'm going to do is say fairy tale of New yes, York. Yes, Claire Smiley, it, it, Smiley, it is. So um, Slade is really low. It is New York, the Pogues. Fairy tale of New York. I have no idea what that sounds like. In fact, Slade isn't in there, Oh, guys. it's for Ash Ashley's all-time Christmas favourite. Is it? I, I think it's one of, it makes me feel very, it's weird that it came from such a nutter. Now. Number three, I wish it could be Christmas every day. I wish it could be Christmas Who's every that? day. I love that. Oh, wizard. Uh, last Christmas, Wham is number four. Last All I want for Christmas, Christmas is you. Plus five. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. We saw a clip on everywhere oh, yeah. we go. I love that one. That's number five. Uh, number seven. Do they know it? Christmas time. You've got to sing into a microphone like this. And all. Do they know? Oh, that's not, that's too loud. Oh, sorry. Um, number eight. White Christmas, Bing Crosby. Hang on, can I just say on that note before we move on, they had a clip of that in Gogglebox last night. I, I loved it. Boring. I've never seen a more boring clip from I a love film. that film, though. I used to watch it every they year. Look miserable as sin. And uh, Eight White Christmas, number nine, rocking around the, the Christmas, Christmas tree, tree on a happy holiday. I have to shave my sweatshirt. Um, <laughs> and then oh. number 10, can anyone guess what number 10 is? I have never heard of this song. I've never heard of it. It's Elton John. Step into Christmas. Who's heard of that? Anyone heard that? B. Sav says, I'm really hating Christmas songs on the radio. It's really First jarring my jarring nerves. <laughs> we, I know what you mean. We, we do must need, have fully jarred you We there, need then. a new... So Mariah Carey, is she in there? No. Really? Not in the car. People don't like Mariah in the car. Oh, there she is. Oh, yeah, there she Christmas is. is you. Oh, yeah, that's um, But I'm surprised that Slade isn't in the car. But also, we need the photo up now. Of, oh, of, yes. Because this is, oh, I mean, when the kids were little, we used to drive around oh, man. looking for houses that were lit. And I said to Mark this year, I don't suppose anyone will be doing it because of the cost. Yeah, but they are. But these two brothers, they decorate their for home every year, have cut back their show by an hour. So this is a restrained version, is it? Yeah, but they've already received more than 92,000 for Bristol Royal Hospital for Children oh, and hope thing. to reach 100,000. Oh, fantastic. It takes them six weeks. Lisa Carpenter and Paul's a bricklayer to erect the display. I love this these kinds of stories. Yeah, they're hard. It's usually lit up for five hours a day, but will run from five until nine this year. Where is it? This is in Bristol, in Brailsford. Brailsford. So if anyone... No, no, that's his surname. Oh. Paul and Lee Brailsford. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't say where Outside it is. Outside the house in Bristol. It no, it doesn't. Has in Brentry, Bristol. Oh, Brentry. There you go. Drive around Brentry like a weirdo. Um, that is but lovely. Isn't that isn't lovely? It? That is lovely. I feel like, I wonder if we could donate. You, to yeah, that. Ashley loves going around looking at lights. I used to too. It's yeah. really nice. Um, this story is a little bit sad. Well, not a little bit sad. It's really sad. Tina Turn. Oh, no, that's not it, is it? Uh, hang on. Oh, God, well, I've got my stories mixed up. Oh, that's uh, a bit more of Harry. Tina Turner's anguish. As she's lost her second son. What? So four years ago, uh, one of her children died of suicide. Tina no. Turner last night paid tribute to her beloved son, Ronnie, after he collapsed in the street and died. No. Uh, the 62-year-old oh actor and musician awful. who battled cancer passed away outside oh his home in no. Los Angeles. Um, grieving Tina posted a black and white photo on Instagram. Oh, my God. That's, but it's her oh, second that's giving son. me absolutely yeah, horrible absolutely. goosebumps. Two children. Yeah. In 2018, her eldest son, Craig, who she had when she got pregnant aged 18, shot himself dead. Oh, my God. Absolutely tragic. Oh, Absolutely my tragic. God. And, of course, I mean, I, I love Tina Turner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she is an incredible woman. And she's always so gracious. You know, people always want to take her back to the horrors of her life with her ex. Oh, God, of course, Ike Turner, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, or Ike. And, you know, she's so gracious because, you know, people don't realise these interviews. That's triggering for a person. Mm. And I've seen her many times answer with such grace, but also try and put in a boundary, you know. And, of course, these children, her children would have 
would have witnessed yeah. some of that and they would have like got through it together. I mean, yeah, that absolutely. is just agonizing. Absolutely. Oh, that's really taken the price. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, what a double shock. Oh God, absolutely. Awful. Awful. Um, last night we were talking with Lee. Lee did some wonderful cocktails last night and he made a fantastic uh, and easy um, alcohol free cocktail. And we were talking about the various reasons that people are alcohol free. One, type is me a raging alcoholic addict who needs to stop completely but there are a lot who has of... stopped completely for 18 years well for 18 don't years. say needs to stop no no it sounds no. like you're still no, no, sorry yeah has still stopped. active yeah no absolutely <laughs> um but of course i always show are... off about his 18 years because <laughs> he's so good and especially at times like christmas it's yeah, it's a tough, it is a tough time. It is a tough time. And, um, you know, lots of people stop drinking for different reasons or reduce their drinking or want alcohol-free drinking. It's not just about, you know, alkies like me. Um, but this is interesting. I thought, uh, cheers, an alcohol-free off-license for sober Gen, Gen Z. Uh, so well, we talked about this a couple of months ago. This is ago. the UK's first alcohol-free off-license yeah. that's opened in London to cater to those Generation Z teetotalers. I think we should go and do a visit there for I Vlogmas. I think so, yeah. Um, owner Laura Willoughby said this co cohort, interesting, has seen their parents stinking of Chardonnay and weren't impressed. She has a club soda off-license tasting room or bar on London's Drury Lane. Oh, Club Soda. Oh, I follow them on Instagram. It taps into a study by DrinkAware that found 26% of 16 to 25-year-olds do not drink a quarter of 16 That's to 25 That's what Lee was saying years. yesterday, yeah. So he, again, he knew a few people who've given up completely, didn't he? Just because they didn't like hangovers Yeah, anymore. yeah, absolutely. We Good should point. go and visit that place. Yeah. What's your next one? Um, my next one is now, we were talking about this the other day, weren't we? Did anyone watch episode, uh, series one and two of Happy Valley? I can't find your story. God, we loved that series. Oh, my God. With Sarah Lancashire and um, what's this chap's name again, Mark? Norton, isn't Edward it? Norton. Edward isn't Norton. It? Um, it was an absolutely chilling, petrifying series because Ed Norton, look, he, he looked like that in it, yes. not like that, was um, a serial that. rapist murderer, yeah. wasn't he? And he was fantastic. Day and manual. the world absolutely fell for him because he's also incredibly gorgeous mm. and a very good actor. And we were saying, God, we haven't seen him for yeah, ages. Where did he go? Yeah, he's well, been here, in jail he is. For years. here he is. He's popped up. James um, Norton, not Edward Norton. James sorry. Norton, that's right. Ed Norton's an American one, isn't it, for me? He, um, yeah, so for series three of Happy Valley, I can't believe this comes out on New Year's. Is it New Year's Day? Yeah. We definitely, that's appointment to view. We're watching yeah, yeah, that, yeah. but he's been away in prison for his sins. And look at him, he's gone sort of, he's gone a bit Jesus like, hasn't he? Oh dear, so, Messiah complex. Messiah Norton's complex. not the Messiah, he's a very naughty boy. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Happy birthday, um, Safia. But it was, it, yeah, it, it was the first time we'd seen something the story told in that way, wasn't it? That he was incredibly charming, incredibly good yes. looking, like nobody could say no to him. Yeah. But he was this, you know, he, there's, there's a lot of chatter about him possibly being Bond. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Bond. Sarah Lancashire was, is fantastic in that. So I would definitely say, if you didn't see series one and two, watch it, ready for series three in January. Yeah. I wanted to do a quick one about this officer that was sacked for flashing oh. on a Navy warship, just quickly, because yeah, no, it ties in with yeah. Suella Braverman. Um, so this chap, Royal Navy officer, has finally been sacked after repeatedly flashing female colleagues on board a warship. Imagine what that was like for those women. Over and over again, he did this. And when he wasn't flashing his testicles at them, he was sending photos on WhatsApp group. And they made um, one complaint after another, which was just brushed under the carpet and ignored. I mean, how petrifying. I've been on those Royal Navy warships. They are so close. Mm, They're so tight. tiny inside. I, I just, well, I was going to get, thought I was going to get a panic attack. Um, yeah, so he has finally, uh, so he would target females, uh, exposing his testicle in the operations room in excess of 10 times. Uh, it was The aggravating facts of this case are his rank and abuse and position of authority. I mean, just take a moment. I just want to take a moment. And he would send these WhatsApp messages just for you girls. I just wanted to take a moment for those women and just go, fucking hell. That there will be some that will just laugh at this. Go, oh, well, he flashed. That is, I think, just absolutely horrific. And well done for pursuing it and mm. finally getting this man 
thrown out. I never cease to be amazed that men think they can do that and get it's away with it. It's disgusting. Um, just a couple of things that have been said by people here. Sarah Witherington, Nads, tomorrow night is married at first sight reunion. Oh, could, mm, could be good. Thanks for that. And Teresa Hutchinson makes an interesting point. I wonder if King Charles will get high viewing count for his first ever King's Christmas speech. That's a good point. Yeah, Very that's good point. interesting. Um, Somebody's just asking what the new series, Happy Valley, series three. Happy Valley. Yeah. Watch series one or two, but not if you're of a of a thingy in disposition, because it is quite brutal. Just going to run through a couple of stories just because I've got thingy two more. disposition. Uh, by government power cut plan, I'm trying to still work out this one, buy a watermelon. But vodka is a no-no. Brits should eat watermelon if water supplies fail in a national power outage. So what? presumably, if there is a huge power cut. It's not the season for watermelon. Why are we going to get a watermelon? Fucking hell. They say that sinking beer would be better than nothing because of the amount of water, but drinking dehydrating spirits such as vodka and whiskey is, uh, are a no-no. In fact, yeah, they're a no-no in all cold places. Mark, Mark, can eat you just fruit pause? Is this a joke? <laughs> no. What, no. what newspaper is this? In? This is in The Sun. Three, uh, the government have issued this. The national grid is on standby to take in arm enhanced actions. And part of the advice is to buy food and fruit and veg that's high in water content in case our water supply is affected by a power. What? Plant. Yeah. Do you want to keep, do you want to read that later? Yeah, no, no. It's kind of, can you believe that? Um, this this doesn't surprise me. House parties beat pubs for fun this Christmas. So the the impact on the hospitality sector is just massive. Revelers are ditching pubs and restaurants for house parties. Around half of people aged 18 to 45 will go to Christmas house parties and New Year's house parties rather than spending inordinate amounts of money going out. And I have to say, of course, can't afford I mean, it. I have to say, you know, the hospitality sector is in a, a no win, no win situation. They're having to push their prices up because the prices are so sorry because they them. can't afford, you know, the price. And they said, you stuff. know, there's only so far we can go with the cost of a pint. But Absolutely. They are still paid. They 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 are taking the, Absolutely. the hit. Yeah. Look at this horror film. Cal, uh, um, Craig Revel Horwood says the face of his television talent show rival has put him off having any cosmetic treatments. I'm not surprised. Ever since Simon Cowell had his eye drooping live on television from too much Botox. I've had this before where I've interviewed people and their, their eyes are drooping. And really? Think, yeah. Um, I, decided, I decided he couldn't go through with it anymore. So he has stopped his Botox. Craig well, there, there you can see. It. I mean, I must admit, I saw that image the other day and I was absolutely horrified. I mean, it, it's it's. But at least he's he... also. But I think it's also that he's got incredibly thin. He has. He has. Um, and and do you remember Nam would do the in person? There was a very yeah. odd program where he kept seeming to collapse. Uh, Simon does look really ill, doesn't he? Actually, dear heart, oh my god, uh, JJ, the arch is beautiful. Thank you. Maybe that's what everyone says. We could keep yeah. the arch and just make it a theme. Yeah. Valentine's. Maybe it's we always have an arch in our. Yeah, of some, I was going to nick it for the garden. Coffee moaning. Um, unwelcome, Matt Hancock. Uh, Matt Hancock went to Sean Walsh's gig. Sean Walsh said he was in the audience, and someone said, "What is that wanker doing here?" Uh, he was heckled within the audience, um, and when he referred to comedy, uh, when when uh, Walsh referred to him being in the audience, he got off. I just wonder how what he thinks of the frosty responses. Do you know what I mean? Does he stop and think? Oh, why everyone so? Why is everyone so annoyed with me? I just don't. I just don't get it. Um, this. Oh no, I'm going to move through that. I'm going to move through that. Oh, sorry. BBC. Now we keep seeing this on Gogglebox. This is the traitor. Are you guys watching the traitor? Because this is a, this is, seems to be getting become, the traitors has proven to be a massive hit. Um, Claudia Winkleman presented. It seems like a murder mystery. Uh, have you? Do you? Do the clips that you see make you want to watch it? They kind of do. Me, yes, because people keep. I'm crying. getting more hooked. Yes, I mean it is very. It, but it makes us laugh. I don't think it's supposed to make us laugh. Why do people people are breaking down? I do find down. Claudia is very over the top. Well, her collar was her her polo neck. Claudia's collar. very very weird, serious. No, but the weird thing about Claudia Winkleman is everything about her is seeking to hide her face, both her fringe. This is a shame. This is a the, pretty. She's very pretty. She's a pretty woman. And I her don't know. collar is like this. So she's like that. <laughs> the collar, yes. She just, looks like I that. I think she must oh, be oh. incredibly shy. Do you think? Yeah, I do. I do because she's always got her head down. I love her. And mom. she's got a gorgeous <laughs> face. God Almighty! Sorry, I was I was seeking to put on my glasses, but I've already got them on. Sorry. Are those new glasses? Well, they're old, but new today. Uh, so yeah, that that that's traitors presented by um, uh, uh, presented by Claudia Winkleman. Yeah, uh, there she is. 
What are those big gold bars? I don't know. Oh, I don't understand what actually happens in the traitor, but no. it just it, it seems no. very funny. No. Uh, loving the traitor. It's funny seeing Claudia that way, but love the murder mystery aspect of the show. Oh, Claudia, it's a brilliant program. Oh my God, yes, I'm loving the traitor, says Elliot Gonzalez. Everybody's loving it. Yeah. Oh, is it too late for us is to join? Is it too late to join it? It looks like lots of people who are who are quite quite sort of fragile have already left. Yeah, I'm going to going to do you want me to do this one quickly. Uh, this is Japanese bread. This is the new craze, the eighteen dollar Japanese bread that's selling out in seconds. Is this the one where it's all egg white? In seconds. The brand is made with flour. This milk. is made with milk. Oh. A limited quantity of the bakery's famous Japanese milk bread was going on sale at 8 a.m. sharp in L.A. It's at £14.70 a loaf. There's clearly no cost of living crisis I've seen in this LA. on Instagram and stuff. It's really dense and fluffy, isn't it? Yeah, it does look very... Does anyone else get that? But Do you remember Nanny Thelma used to get that milk bread? Yeah, make it's not ham the same sandwiches. as that, darling. That was only about <laughs> 75p from Lidl. Nan right. never shopped is at that, Lidl or, Is that it? Or, or I'll be, I'll, have we yeah. gone over? Hey? Um, were you saying you what? didn't want to do any more? No, 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 I do. After oh. that. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just doing that quickly. Oh, God, you... you've got five. No, 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 just the funny ones. Uh, just the funny ones. No, no, I'm not saying anything. Much. Just a little prick. At last, boffins find a cure for floppy willies. I just want to show you the uh, <laughs> show you the cartoon. Look, what, read it. What he says? Can you see that? No. Needles. I'm scared stiff. She says, "If only." Before, <gasps> after, good jab. She says, "I'm ready for my booster." Oh God, that's horrific. Oh my God, not a lot. Not a lot. Do you remember Paul Daniels? So someone bought uh, Paul Daniels' toupee in auction for £500. Good God. They're, no, they bought it for more than that, for £2,730. Oh, my God. But they're hiring it out for £500 a time. What? For who? For who's going who's gonna to well, hire it? And down the bottom, they've got, <laughs> they've got mock-ups of Matt Lucas with it on, Van oh, Diesel with it on, and Ian Wright with it We should go with you. With Syrup. It. Deep and crispy heaving. A takeaway owner is serving up, listen to this, a 2,000 calorie festive feast by in, by piling an entire Christmas dinner into a huge Yorkshire pudding. Well, that is the calories of a of a Christmas dinner. I yeah, mean, it's, it's just he's got Yorkshire pudding with it. And obviously today is uh, this is the massive football match between England and France. I will be watching it later. Sorry, Matt. Um, and the headlines, uh, where are the headlines? Uh, there we go. Now let's make French toast, lads. Get it? Um, <laughs> the Daily Star. Game of two halves. And the, the detail in this that's funny is 50% of us will watch Crunch Game v France. They go, while other 30 million do goodness knows what. <laughs> uh, and that's your lot. That's your lot. That's your lot. Okay, Honest. that's it for today. Thank oh, you. Oh, I'm going to do the, the, I'm gonna do the quiz. Oh, okay, Dark. So you head off. Lots of love. Okay. Love you. Don't forget Vlogmas 6.30 tonight. So quickly, guys, we're going to do, we're going to run through the this quiz. This is from Sea, Soul and Snow. So a few people asking about Come on, England. Come, Come on. I'm just going to go this way so, people, so family life can carry on. Um, right. Who's up for the, who's up for the quiz? We missed it yesterday. Um, oh, shit. What? I just nearly spilt my beetroot, which I shook one of these yesterday and it went all over me. I think we have to, we have to, although it's not, it's, let's do this. Friday quiz. Uh, there you go. Um, so, oh, Dan, Dan Wharton had Megan a half-brother on his YouTube show. They're, they're going for every grade of relative, aren't they, to get some kind of stuff about them. <coughs> 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 I'm dying. Um, okay, so Friday quiz on Saturday. Let's have a look. Question one, guys. The artistic achievements of rock band U2, actor George Clooney, and composer Tanya Leon were celebrated at the prestigious Kennedy Center Honours. But whose face did actress Julia Roberts wear on her dress? Good God. So what did Julia Roberts have on her dress? Was it actor and director George Clooney? Was it composer and educator Tanya Leon, or was it you two uh, frontman Bono? So this is who did who did Julia Roberts have as a pattern on her dress? A, B, or C? Uh, was it uh, uh, George Clooney, Tanya Leon, or Bono? Kind of clue is in a recent film 
that was out. I think I think you might get that. Adina gave me a load of these beat it's. They're great and they turbocharge you like a coffee. Lots of you saying a, um, but be warned when you go to the loo. That's all I would say. You're right. It's Clooney. It's Clooney. And of course, they were in that film uh, sort of rom-com that's out. The Royal Mint, question two, revealed a 50p coin produced as part of a Harry Potter themed collection as the last to feature the Queen's portrait. But what's on the other side? What's on the other side of the last 50p to feature the Queen? Is it A, Dumbledore, B, Harry Potter, or C, the Hogwarts Express train? Is it A, is it B, or is it C? Hey, <laughs> that's Muddy Lushka. Uh, Paddington, meet you. Is it A, is it A, Dumbledore, B, Harry Potter, or C, the Hogwarts Express train? Lots of you saying C, and lots of you are right. Uh, whilst you're whilst you're tumbling through your um, answers, I just wanted to show you this great photo, a photo story. Lots of you saying C. Look at that! Isn't that amazing? A hippo yawning next to a stalk or a heron or something, and someone in the serpentine taking a dip. God Almighty, craziness! Uh, your mum's off to the Hogwarts Express today. Good job, Lollipop. Does she know it's fictional? Oh, is it not? Can you go there? Uh, the answer is, of course, C. I think lots of you will have two out of two now. Question three. Scientists hailed the discovery of rare animal remains in the Australian outback, but to which creature did these remains belong? A, a crocodile. B, the first complete plesiosaur skeleton. Or C, the last known Tasmanian tiger. A, a crocodile. B, a plesiosaur. C, a Tasmanian tiger. If you get that, I'll eat my jaw. Um, Tina, oh, so here we go. The, the train, oh, the train is in the Scottish Highlands, is it? I want to go on the Hogwarts Express, Nat. Yeah. I'm not even a, I'm not even a Harry Potter fan. Let's take the girls on the Harry on the on the Hogwarts Express. They could get bored on that, like they did the story. It's like drinking blood. Lots of you saying B. Indeed, it is B. It's the plesiosaur skeleton. Wow. That's quite something. Oh, wow. Look at it. There's a great photo. Um, only I can see it there. Um, question four. Last Saturday marked the 30th anniversary of the first mobile phone text message ever sent. We've had texts, guys, for 30 years. But what did that first message say? Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Where's the fish? No, I'm joking. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Are you there? Which was the first text message sent? Happy birthday. Merry Christmas, B, or are you there? Helen Fatherly, does that mean you've drunk blood? Yeah, I'm a lizard man who has microchips in my forehead and I drink blood. You're absolutely right. C, lots of you saying C. Lots of you saying, are you there? I know what you mean. I know what you mean. The only problem with the first text was the person who received it couldn't reply. The, oh, lots of you saying A. Christos is saying B. Christine Bett is saying C. The East End Boy is saying C. Some of you say it's Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Question five. This is an amazing story. We didn't really cover it this week. German police arrested 25 people on suspicion of plotting to overthrow the government. Um, and install a prince called Heinrich the Thirteenth as leader of the state. But uh, to which of the groups below does this prince belong? So, in this sort of attempt to take over Germany, uh, which group did the prince, who was going to be the new leader, belong to? Was it Kingdom Germany A, the House of Rus B, or the Self Administrators C? Was it A, Kingdom Germany, B, the House of Rus, or C, the self-administrators? That is a tough one. I, I, I just tried and I got that wrong. Uh, I got that wrong. Someone somewhere says B, life didn't stop at 40, says A. Uh, yeah, I, I went for A and I was wrong. I was wrong. Oh, quite a few of you saying B. B, Hus of Rus, Faith. I like your abbreviation there to get it out quickly. 
Uh, B, 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 B. Oh, lots of you saying B. You're absolutely right. It's the House of Rees. Rees. Ninad, if you're here, you can help pronounce that. Question six. Google published its annual list of the most searched terms globally in 2022. But which word came top? Was it A, goblin mode? <laughs> B, Queen Elizabeth? Or C, wordle? Wow. Goblin mode. What the hell is goblin mode? Uh, which of those was the, uh, the most searched word on Google? Was it A, goblin mode, B, Queen Elizabeth, or C, wordle? Uh, what are you saying? Ali C saying wordle. Uh, someone somewhere saying goblin mode. Cloder, snot bunny, Fiona Marks, dry balls, Reed Egan. <laughs> oh my God. Says uh, C. Uh, is that, yes, C. <laughs> Um, and the answer is uh, C, Wordle, even more even more popular than Queen Elizabeth, because I imagine that would only be in the, well, is Wordle everywhere? I guess it is. Final question, guys, final question, and I don't think many of you are going to get this. The 1975 film, Jean Dielman, uh, 23 Quai de Commerce, 1080 Bruxelles, Bruxelles, topped the BFI's sight and sound poll to find the greatest film of all time. How is it reviewed on the... So how is the most popular film of all time, a quite an obscure film, how is it reviewed on the BFI website? A, a vortex of perspective stretching misdirection and disorientation. B, it packs in a ton of radical creativity and unconventionality. Or C, closer to avant-garde than mainstream demands dedicated viewing. Jesus fucking Christ. If you get that, I will eat my other set of glasses with with top chew with top chew with tomato ketchup with top chew don't my mum will start when she hears that getting my words wrong again <laughs> oh, top chew i'm going to put top tube on my glasses and eat them <laughs> a a vortex of perspective stretching misdirection and disorientation try saying that b it packs in a ton of radical creativity and unconventionality or c closer to avant-garde than mainstream demands dedicated viewing uh, it's just a free for all. You're all going total guess C. Helen Groves, total guess is right. It's C. Um, so quick question did and answer quickly because we're gonna have to go. Uh, anyone get seven out of seven? Did anyone get seven out of seven? Yeah, yeah, seven out of seven. Helen Groves, congratulations, Pauline Roberts, six. Oh, well done, guys. Well, look, uh, obviously, Vlogmas will be landing later today. Another six out of seven for Anne. Uh, welcome to Julie Connell. Welcome. And a huge happy birthday to Saf Safia or Safia. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Safia. Happy birthday to you. you. And welcome, like Julie I Connell. Love. Welcome, Julie Connell. Welcome to you. Welcome, Julie Connell. Welcome to you. Julie, Julie Connell. Julie, Julie Connell. Welcome, Julie Connell. Welcome to you. And Julie Connell, as you've only just um, joined the members area, don't forget there's a oh. live No Name Sunday show tomorrow in the members area. So yeah, we'll let us. you know the time. Uh, lots of love, guys. Uh, enjoy the madness. If you haven't seen any of the vlogmases, do check them out. They are batshit crazy. Um, 